Good evening and welcome back to Factory Town. Last episode we managed to get the health potions working. Hurrah, so they're doing their thing there. Um, I think we're going to sell these because these are blue coins and they could be useful to sell. We also want to take them out so that they can be shipped back down to here because we need them for this here. Um, and uh, we also need to plug all this in here to get this going here to get the nature things going. I'm not too fast about getting this working just yet because we have plenty of research there. I would, however, like to get the magic research going. Um, that is something that I desperately would like to start running because we don't have um, here. Uh, we don't have any more research, so we can't actually research anything new um, when it comes to these things. We can't research the far air, whatever knowledge. We know research one, that's fine. Um, but we do need to research the uh, necklace and magic conveyor belts. And magic conveyor belts is, uh, requires air power. And we can't get air power until we get air knowledge volume one. So we need to do that. So let's get that working. Can we go straight to level three with this? Um, I do this here, but so we need to bring in books, cloaks, and uh, I think so. Okay, right. So let's stop this. In fact, no, no, no. Scratch that. Go back. Go back by one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually set up selling the. Um, uh, oh, we've got four hundred thousand. Actually, no, no one, no one. I'm, I'm, I'm mixed up my purple and uh, coins there because um, uh, purple coins. We're not really getting any in, which is. A bit of a problem. We should be getting wards in. Why are we not getting wards in? It's not getting polished stone. Ah, because we haven't got the polished stone, because we haven't got the stone, and we haven't got the stone, because we just haven't. Um, yeah, we, we just haven't. That's the problem with that. It's just... Uh, hmm. Hmm. It is too slow. It is too slow. I'm going to change this up. Let's, let's, let's jump around to something completely different to what I just said I was going to do. Um, what if I was to do this? What if we... Stop. Empty them down there. Okay. Um, what if we was to... Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oop. And... Uh, Do that. And then do this. Doop, 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 zoop, go faster, bloop, like this. All the way to there. Okay, oh, what's happened here? Ah, yes, that's okay, that's okay. Cancel that bit, cancel that bit there. Okay. To doop, to doop. Uh, and this is going to do this now, like that. But I'm going to put a pusher in here to force stuff to go that way. And so we have one mine going up to here. We have one mine going up to the base, um, which is a little bit of a waste. Um, and then we've got one mine going to um, the here for storage. So. Although I would very much like to get this one. Um, we do that. So that one will actually go on first. So if we use anything in the base, that one will go on first. And then two of them are coming to here so that this can become polished stone because this is actually needed in places. And then this one goes up to make our stone brick, which isn't needed in places because we are uh, we don't need, really need to do that. Um, I might rotate this around as well and actually have it feed out first. Um, rather than go into the base. Because I think that would be the better way to do this. So let's um, do that. 
so it'll push down into this one first to feed whatever we're feeding here if we need stone brick and then it will go out to the base to do things there so there we go okay so all three mines are in use excellent 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 um cool right uh the oh what are these doing iron ore drop off and remedy why is the iron ore drop off down here Why is the iron ore drop-off down here? You should never have come down here. Five drop-off. This is... A six pickup. You should never have come down here. <clears throat> it is possible. It is possible that if a train is following another train and the train in front has got low fuel and it's traveling slowly, the train behind hits the back of it. And if it hits the back when it's here, it will come down here. Now these are pushers. So um, it's possible that a train hit here and came down. Right, what, what are you, what are you? You are five drop off and a three pick up. So you would be on the five or the three, well you are empty. Yep, you're empty. So you was on the three pick up rail. So it was on this rail here, uh, this right here. Nope, uh, yeah, this right here. This one here. Um, so you were coming along and you were going to the iron. So you were coming down here. You've hit here, hit a train that was coming the other way and you've turned down. Now, we need a way to make that train not come down here. Um, although we could just loop the end of this. So it doesn't matter if a train comes down and gets stuck, it loops and comes out again. That's probably the safest way to do these all. Uh, like this one's not, not very safe either. So this one comes down here, um, comes down this track here, comes down the outside here, blah, 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 and then just hits the end and stops. So um, maybe we should do that. Let's put a loop in there. Let's do the same here. Let's just bring this down to an arbitrary number and put a loop in there. So the trains can get back out again if they get stuck. That isn't really something I had factored in at all uh, with it, but I do know that's a thing that happens. So uh, should have been more prepared for that, but it's okay. We noticed it, so it's fine. This can do the same. So you, boop. and then you purchase that. Generate the terrain. Oh, we got a. Another trader there. That's okay, you can just stay there. I'm not. Remove that. Oh, there we go. Okay. I need to do it everywhere. Just to make sure we have it. Some some places will probably have more stations on them. Uh you know over there. Uh like this one. This one as well. This 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 will need it as well. They all need a foul safe just in case something goes wrong. Oh, stop right down there. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, you've got a river there. Why did I not flatten that down? Whoa. <laughs> Wrong way. Wrong way. Uh, that'll do. Uh, you've got no input. That's fine. So you're looping, you're looping. You're looping, you're looping, you're looping, you're looping. Sorry for going around everywhere so quickly, but that's all looping. And the inside ones, you loop, you loop. There's no drop off here and there's no drop off here. Cool. Okay. Okay. So there you go. All the tracks now loop. If something goes wrong and a train does come down the wrong place, uh, it will loop back up to the track and it will end up coming to this, fil this uh, filter thing here that it doesn't normally. And then it will just end up like the iron train will end up back here. Uh, because it will come back up here and then go, hey, I'm a three pickup. So I come up here and bump three pickup, I go down here. So it's all fail safe, it's all fine, it's all working. Excellent. Okie dokie, okie dokie. So <clears throat> let's come back here and let's figure this one out, shall we? So we need, uh, what do we need here? We need books, we need mana crystals. A book. 
mana crystals. Um, is that cloak? Cloak, and then magical knowledge volume one. Cloak, boop, and boop, and then uh, magical knowledge volume one. Boop, like that. Okay, put them. And then these need to have three things each. So I'm going to remove all of this. I'm going to remove all of this, and all of this, and this. You are going to be filtered to magical knowledge. We copy that and paste that and paste that and paste that and that can go in those three there as well. Badum, badum, badum. So you'll pack that up and send it over there. Um, I don't really need to pack it. I could just directly send it, but I'm going to pack it for conformity's sake. Uh, so we want to have three guys here and we want uh, one to be books. We want the second one to be Mana Crystal. And we want the third one to be Cloak. And then I want to copy that. There, there. Hold it. There and there. Boom. So that's going to do all that. That'll be fine. So there, the three's come in here. Okay, okay. Now make books volume one. Okay, right. Volume two. What happens here? We get books, mana brick, and mana pipes in them. Okay. So uh, same thing. Let's uh, remove all of these guys. You are going to be mana book volume two. That's the easy one. Oh. And then we want to do the same again. So up here, we want to have one, which is going to be whatever the first one was, sorry. Uh, so this is going to be a books on the bottom. So that's mana volume one. Mana brick and then mana pipe. And then we do the same for the other one as well on the end. Okay, so they're all done, dusted, ready, sorted, and filtered. Everything has been set in the train stations. Let's turn off the nothing filter on the train stations, otherwise they won't accept any goods in. The same for you there. Boom, there we go. So now all we need to do is the trains and the actual goods that are required. So let's start at the beginning and see what we're gonna do. Okay, um, so I'm going to chop off the train track here. And we're going to start the very first one. So we need books. Books are also used down here as well, aren't they? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Nope. Books. Oh, books are used everywhere along here. Yeah. So we need books, and we're going to need a lot of trains for books. I just, I just know we're going to need a lot of trains for books. Um, so I'll drop it off up here, actually. Um, and let's pause this. And let's copy this guy's uh, text because. Uh, actually, I don't know where books are made. Where are books made? Hold on, hold on. Books are made in processing or knowledge. Well, we're not making them in knowledge because we don't have any space in knowledge left. <laughs> Although we have one here, but you want one book every uh, eight seconds. So that means we need, uh, and you want one book every six seconds. So we need... Let's say they're all six seconds, just to round it down to the lowest number. That means we'll be producing more books than we need. So we need four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. This one doesn't need books. No, this one needs books as well. Uh, 28. 28 books every six seconds. Okay. Making a book is one every six seconds which means we need 28 workshops just making books to keep up with this system here. We are absolutely going to go into steam power and stuff to do this here. We absolutely, there's, there's no real way I can get around of not doing it that way. Um, because if I was to say, hey, well, we need 28. So that means we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven slots for just making books. Let's go over to our processing, which is uh, here. Is this processing? Yes, pressing. Um, 
I can't really get to any slots in here. That, that's, that's pretty much a whole town, just for making books. Knowledge is madness. <laughs> Knowledge is madness. Although, what I haven't really done is looks at this here. Now, you can sell books, obviously, as often as you want to, to get more mana. Points. So mana, you kind of research you want to get. Once you've got the certain research, you can just drop it down to the lowest levels um, of... Uh, what I mean by that is uh, uh, you'd want to be selling them at the rates they consume them. So let's go with uh, magical knowledge. Um, so they consume these at... Uh, so this gives 1, 10, and 50. So this is way better. Going straight to level 3 is just... is It's 50 times better than level 1, so it's worth the investment. Um <clears throat> but it, it, the consumption rate is 30 seconds and the happiness duration is 160 seconds. Normally you add them together, 190 seconds, means you need to produce one magic book per house every 190 seconds. Fine. However, you want to get a lot of research in because research is important. You need to spend things. So you want to actually be sending as many books as you can. So that means you want to be selling them at the consumption time, which is 30 seconds ago. They can consume a book that consumption time is how often they can take a book the happiness bonus is like the buffer afterwards so they they read a book or consume a book um they won't consume another book for 30 seconds even if they've got more they won't consume it and then um they can they don't have to have one for another 160 seconds to keep their happiness bonus so providing you give them one book every 190 seconds they will be 100% happy. They will gain the happiness. So that'll be useful. We're going to split the thing up. So we're going to do like two fire and two water. Um, uh, um, we're going to do fire and water to half the towns. And then uh, earth and air to the other half the towns. And then magical knowledge will just going to be sold to the magical place. However, that's only three out of six. We want to get maximum happiness if we can. So we need to also sell other books here. I'm just not sure how we're going to do that yet. We'll figure that out. Um, uh, we could technically sell all three of these books to the same places, and that will work, but I don't really want to. But um, So what I mean is, if I look at the lowest amount, so it's 190 seconds. Let me bring up my trusty calculator, which uh, unfortunately I need to figure out a way to get to show on screen. But... Um, uh, Okay, um, this is weird for some reason. The calculator app on Windows isn't working. Um, I can't load it. It appears and disappears. So um, I'm using the uh, um, uh, the one we went to Google instead. So um, where were we? We were um, uh, 190 seconds. So we've got 60 houses, 190 seconds. We need to put one, one book. So it's 190 divided by 60. Um, we need to produce a book, one every 3.17 seconds. Um, we need to produce a book uh, we produce a book in 10 seconds we produce four books in 10 seconds so 10 divided by four is two and a half seconds so we are producing enough for um uh it's 190 seconds so uh, 190 divided by 2.5 we're producing enough books for 76 houses if this runs at 100 percent speed that does not take into account any of this production bonus thing. That's purely the base speed. So the, the production thing is a bonus. It will give us a bonus on top. And as we get more happiness, that will increase as well because more happiness increases the production time. Uh, I'm moving the mouse. You can't see it because I actually didn't have the window selected. I need to stop doing that. I, I, need to, I, I can move the mouse around and I see it on the screen, but you don't see it until I click the window. Put on there. So yeah, so here, the production bonus. Um, it will actually be faster. It'll be 0.65 per second faster. So... It will be quicker um but i base it off of just the base numbers to make sure it's right so even if the happiness drops to zero we know we're getting enough in to bring the happiness back up again so it's a bonus so yeah um and if you figure that all out just using the base numbers and they figure out what you need to produce for that you never have to worry because the happiness bonus is universal across the entire place providing they're getting it obviously um, the exception being things like wells and stuff that don't get the happiness bonus, you have to figure them out on their own. Um, and the rechargers, they don't get happiness bonus. So, uh, yeah, sometimes they need more because this will start consuming more and more as the happiness goes up and the rechargers can't always keep up, so. Okay, so we're producing right now, if this was running, 
enough to produce to, to support 76 houses now we only need half that because we're going to split half to half for that so we don't need to worry about that we could ship the mana books around to everyone and deliver the mana books to everybody anyway so yeah um but right now we just want to get this going and ship it out and do that so so we are safe um the reason i was trying to figure this all out in the numbers is to make sure we are actually safe um this build will work if it was something like hey you can support 200 houses with this build i'd be like oh well in that case we could maybe half it and put the actual book production in here you know so we could actually have the workshops making the books on the first level and then this makes the mark um uh, one books and then here we have two mage towers making mock twos and two making mock threes it shrinks the whole thing down so you can do that you can also add boosters to things to make stuff faster there are mana boosters later on to make things faster but that's when your population increases we will have more than 76 houses so this is going to struggle once we get to that point but then hopefully the happiness bonus will cover that because remember if this is running at 1.765 uh, if this gets to two um, if we can get the happiness bonus up high enough to get to two that means we're no longer producing enough for 76 houses we're producing enough for 152 houses yeah i did that without the calculator hey my brain works um so yeah so um so yeah and so the happiness bonus will cover us for that so it's it's nice it's nice so that's why i always try and make sure we get things with town centers in them so they all get the happiness bonus so okay so let's 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 start at the beginning i'm um, going back around again so but on so we need to produce uh books and we're gonna have to add steam boosters thing so let me add a steam booster to it so i don't need to the steam booster adds plus two seconds to the unit so ignoring the happiness bonus i'm just going to ignore that this will take one worker in fact the best way to do this is to move it away from everywhere you try to figure the numbers out so but, so there we go so this is um still 1.65 oh, hold on Uh, do uh book with it doesn't matter i'm, I'm, I'm gonna do the cloth one because i think it's easier so there we go okay so this produces one a second which means it takes six seconds to produce a book if you add a coin booster uh sorry uh what well, coin booster will work or a steam booster let's add these just to show you how they work so boom coin boost and a steam booster let's have both of those so let's open that open that open that scroll this right down here so we're making this huge um but so with a coin booster we can add extra things to it so we can add um we can use red coins and we will use 0.25 coins a second so every four seconds we use one coin so we have to make sure we're producing enough red coins to cover that and we get a bonus of plus one so just with the red coin booster running we're up to two which means instead of six seconds this takes three seconds so we no longer need uh four eight twelve sixteen twenty twenty four twenty eight we now need 14 of these guys the steam booster adds two to this so if i was to get rid of the coin booster and we ignore that and we add two instead we go up to three seconds making it which means this comes down um instead of um taking six seconds to produce one we're now running at three it now takes uh two seconds to produce one because six divided by three is two so now we're down to two seconds to produce a book um we have half the amount we need again so instead of 14 we need seven i think <laughs> so i think that sounds wrong that sounds wrong to me uh so if we're producing yeah we get the steam booster and steam boosters are easy to get as well um so if we produce that we need seven is that right uh but what i can do is i i can combine these so i can go so hey we get the steam booster so we're going to go up to um let's this this goes up to three now because we've got plus two there's no steam in here so it's not showing it but so we add this and that goes up to two so that's now four seconds but if i did like that and that suddenly four so we've got one for the happiness one, one for the worker um three for the red coins and two for the steam booster makes six you're producing a book every second so suddenly this goes down to only needing maybe four of these or something the issue now becomes throughput though can can the belts deal with that amount coming in um can we also deal with using 0.75 seconds and remember we, we have four of these so that's going to be a big drain on the coins so we need to sell stuff we're not selling anything for red coins yet so yeah so we need to find a compromise we need to find a balance between the two um 
Okay, so let me um let me let me go let me go through this. Let me go through this. Bear with me a moment. Okay, so um um I did everything off camera there because I tend to go way too deep in trying to figure out the exact numbers and get all my mathematics wrong and and waste many 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 hours on it. So, but okay, so um just cal calculating how many books we need. So we need um, for this, this is six seconds. So we've got four for six seconds, six, uh, eight for six seconds, and these are six seconds as well. So that's four, eight, 12. 12 buildings at six seconds. 12 buildings, six divided by 12 is half a second. So we need one book every half a second. So that's two books a second. We need to finish there. Uh, these are eight seconds, and we've got four, eight, 12, 16. And 16 divided by eight is half a second. So these need uh, books every half a second. These need books every half a second, all of them added together, which means we need to produce for the whole thing one book every 0.25 seconds. That's four books a second we need. This is fantastic. This is fantastic. Sort of fantastic. Mm. So, um, this, with just the Steam Booster, produces a book every uh, two seconds. We would have four of them, because that's one there, which is a book every half a second it's producing. So we'll have two of these in the, in the formation that we normally have. So we need two of these, so we need eight of these, with Steam Boosters running full whack, to produce one book every 0.25 seconds. And that will then support all of these. And that's fine and dandy and wonderful and brilliant and awesome. However, there is a small thing here that I think goes against me, but I might be wrong on this. So the happiness bonus applies, obviously, to the worker production here. So this is workers um, times happiness bonus. So it's is workers plus happiness. So 0.65 happiness bonus for the happiness gives us a bonus to the workload, which is fine. So this is consuming a book slightly faster. Now we will get that happiness bonus on the worker but we won't get it on the Steam Booster. So it's getting the 0.65 happiness bonus if it was inside here, that's fine. But the Steam Booster isn't, so it doesn't scale with the happiness bonus here because this happiness bonus is scaling on the whole build, like all the inputs gets increased by 0.65 because there's only one input. Whereas this, only one third of the input, which is the worker, gets increased by one point, by 0.65 so I don't think the books will keep up with this however because I'm figuring it all out on the base number that doesn't matter it just means they'll be star for books a little bit which is fine um, because they'll still be producing uh, enough to run the base number ignoring the happiness bonus and we get a bonus so it means we won't get the full happiness bonus in these buildings um, we'll get the full happiness bonus but we won't get the full production bonus because they won't have enough books so that's fine. We could always count that with the red coin boosters. I haven't taken them into account because I don't want to be spending our red coins on them. Although you can and you should because you end up getting loads of coin boosters. So um, yeah, so you probably should do. So we can we can balance with that. So so yeah. So we need eight workshops. Awesome. Okay, eight workshops making books over here. And yes, I'm doing a lot of sort of figuring things out and doing things and changing stuff and blah, blah, blah. Um, not changing stuff, but I'm doing a lot of figuring out before I actually build anything on purpose. Because um, if we don't, then everything falls apart. You know, you, you can... Um, a lot of people play with just, oh, I'll just add more, I'll just add more. We have limited space. We can't just add more. I need to make sure... I'm getting things right because of the limited space by the town centres um, that are sharing. So, so we need to fit it all within the tiles of the town centre. If something's not right, that's where I need to figure out if I need to add boosters to it or not, and what I need to do with the boosters. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's get ourselves a steam generator because I need to look at this as well. Do you get you do get a production bonus as well? That's cool. Okay, um, and they can use yellow coin boosters, which is nice because yellow coins are easy to get. So, so we need to include that in the town somewhere uh, so yep i also want to increase this to a level 10 town so we can use the corner pieces does mean i need to do something about this centerpiece here um why did we stop this oh because we're making bread we don't need bread yeah 
we don't need bread, so this was never needed. So yeah. Um, so books, 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 books. Uh, let's do books. Workshop here. Um, uh, um, you're going to make book, and you're going to do it with uh, cloth. I would prefer cloth is made in the processing as well. Uh, paper can also be made here in processing. So I think we're going to do the whole thing in a big production line. So let's um, square off the corners. Boop. Like this. Boop. Boop, like that. And then we've got a thing here. So what do we need? We need um, book. Uh, paper and cloth. Now, cloth can be made from cotton or from wool. I tend to use the farming stuff uh, of um, like the crop stuff rather than the animal stuff. Uh, because if you have the option to it, it's easier to get the crops because some things um, uh, are not really here, but some things will require wool only later. So you have to, you know, you have to do that anyway. Um, but if you've got the option, the crops are easier to maintain, if that makes sense. It's easier to grow a crop than it is to, to, to grow an animal, basically. Um, it's less complicated resources. So, uh, so one of these needs to be making... So what and how many do we need? How many do we need? It's not just a one-to-one. -one. So we need four paper. Okay. Um, let's move you up here. Boop. Uh, you are going to produce paper uh, like this. Um, you make two paper in four seconds, and you need. Now remember, we're going to be running these at. Um, so this is two seconds we're running at because of the steam booster. Two seconds we're running at. We could balance it all out normally, try and figure it out, and then just add a steam booster to these as well, if they take it. However, um, uh, I need to double check. Uh, you make cloth in here, don't you? Yeah, so cloth with cotton. But on, there you go. So, um, yeah. Farming is one thing that I don't tend to try and figure the ratios out on. I just more tend to go put the farms in. If we're not producing enough, increase the amount of workers in the farms, because you can do things, and then yellow coin boosters. And then eventually you get to the point where you can't output fast enough to get into the uh, the thing. That's why I've done this the way I have here with the outputs above, so that we can have another output on the side of the farm going in. So we could potentially have another output there and there, so we can have five outputs going into this guy. You can also lower the packager down and then have the inputs come in that way for time. I don't think you can raise the farm up. I don't think that's possible. Maybe? I'm not sure. I've never tried that. Um, I'm going to go... I've just looked at the time, and this episode is really long, so we're going to... Um, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try something. Because um, I've never... I don't think I've ever tried this, in fact. So can you do that? So that's too high. Let's grab the farm. Put the farm there. Let's grab... Um, uh, cotton. No, cotton, cotton. Come on, fingers. Yeah, cotton. Um, no, you can't raise it up because it doesn't recognise that there are crops nearby. That's a shame. I don't want to raise it up so that I can use the crops underneath it. That's that's not the, um, the idea for this. Uh, I want to raise it up so that I can have more outputs on the farm. Um, yeah, so we can have more outputs going over to this. So th if this was raised up and this was raised up, we could have um, nine outputs just on the on the side going there. But I can't raise the farm. That's a shame. I get it. I get it because it can't reach the ground. Um, I don't think there's any way to... Uh, um, <laughs> okay, so you can do that. That would lose one connection point. You can you can do that and have a farm above ground. So long as it's got um, access to the ground, if I then click this auto supply, yeah, look, it's pick cotton. It knows the cotton below it. So you can you kind of can. Ah, uh, hang on. 
a brainwave has hit me. It was about, you know, one was due. It's been a while. Um, what if I rotate that round like that? Um, and then did... Uh, well, did this. And I don't think you'll let me put the... No. So we can remove those three. And do that. Put on. There you go. You can get that. You now have every side here accessible. Um, so we can actually raise this above and do the same thing and then we can have multiple inputs because uh, I know we aren't doing a great deal with that at the moment but you do get to a point where um, you need multiple inputs and then we're going to have to do this adding a steam booster to the packager is a little awkward but doable especially if it's in the air uh, and um, the farms can't have any boosters uh, they might have magic boosters later but they don't have any like steam booster things but yeah that works Okay, for some reason you're only showing... Oh, is that the only crops you can... Ah, oh, no. No, so that's not working. So you've only got a limited range. No, that doesn't work then. No, it's only it's only highlighting those crops here. Okay, no, scrap the idea. Scrap the idea. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Um, we will instead uh, just do it the old way and then have to figure stuff out later. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. There you go. Right. Boom. You are cotton uh, auto manage. Um, yeah. We'll figure out later. Okay. Right. So let's come back next episode because uh, this one's there uh, and all over the place. Uh, it is all over the place, and I apologise for that. But I hope you understand. I need to do those. Um, figure out. We need to figure out the throughput numbers for it because I said we are limited for the tile space we can use. It's not just a case of you can add more to it, which you can do if you want to ignore the happiness bonus. Which you can do. You can completely play without the happiness bonus and just use the base numbers and not use the town centres at all. Um, uh, you you can absolutely play the game that way. Uh, and then you just basically build more buildings, more and more and more. So um, yeah, but um, yeah, hopefully this will this will be it soon. So yes, thank you very much for watching. I'm rambling now. I hope you've enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. And until then, as always, um, have fun. Hopefully my brain's not as scrambled in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>